أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى سيس لسن 22 ونكوس إرشاد الطلبة إلى التمييز بين القراءات العشرة The last lesson we looked at the قراءة of Abu Ja'far with the first of the three قراءات and he could be identified by إخفى in the غين and the قا وسكت in the حبوب المقطعات This lesson we're looking at the قراءة of Ya'qub The second of the three قراءات and his قراءة may be identified by the application of reading with إيها وسكت and stopping on the following words هو هي and words ending in the pronoun هن so the ha usakt is a ha that has a permanent sukun. So he will read these words as wa, iya, and unna. That is when stopping on them. That is to make clear the haraka on the last letter. And that's why that uh, ha is added onto it when stopping. You will also have this ha usakt when stopping on the ya mutakallim. That has a shad, is mushaddad. So the ya mutakallim refers to the individual. For example, ilayya to me. Right? So he will read this when stopping as ilayya. So this ha usakta to ya, when you hear it, then it is the qira'a of Abu Ja'far. He is found in the riwayah of Hafs, but only in a few words. Not as common as I will find it in the qira'a of Ya'qub. So that's the first thing there, ha usakt. The next point is in the likes of farhabuni, there is a ya at the end that is omitted. How do we know this? The kasra. The kasra on the noon indicates to the omitted ya. Farhabuni have all or fear of me. The anasin have fear of me. So it should be farhabuni. That's the origin of the word. But the ya is omitted in the script. However, Ya'qub, he will read this Ya with a stopping or reading through, right? Despite its omission from the script. When it's not written there, he will still read it. So he will read Farhabuni as Farhabuni. When you stop Farhabun, he will stop Farhabuni. When you stop or you read through, Ya'qub will read that Ya. These Ya'at, they are known as the Ya'at Zawa'id. The ya'at that are not written in the rasm, not part of the script of the Qur'an, but they are recited by some of the Qur'an. So this application is not unique to him. You find it in a lot of the other qira'at as well, but it is far more prevalent in his qira'at than in others. For example, this example of Farhabun that I've chosen here, only Ya'qub will read the ya as zawaid in Ya yeah, Azaida in, in that particular word. Furthermore, most of the other Qur'an will only read the Ya when doing it waslam, when you're reading through, but Ya'qub will do it even when stopping on it. Okay, so that's the second point with regard to Ya'qub. The, <coughs> the Ya yeah, Atu Zawaid that he applies. The third one is in the letter Ha, in the pronouns hum, huma, and hunna, they will be read with a kasra and preceded by a ya sakin. So they will be read as alayhim, alayhima, and alayhinna. These examples due to the ya that comes before. Examples fihim, fihima, fihinna. Ya'huba, however, he will recite the ha with its original state of a mamma. Even in this circumstance, meaning even in the circumstance where it is preceded by a yasakina, you will not take that into consideration. You will still read it as normal on its original circumstance. So you will read alayhim as alayhum, alayhima as alayhuma, and alayhinna as alayhunna. Remember here, you will also have the usakt when stopping on it. Okay, but we're looking here at the bomma on the ha. Then you will read fi hum and fi huma and fi hunna. Again, the ha usakt will come in at the end, stopping on that particular word. So those are the three ways we can identify Ya'qub, the ha usakt, 
the ya'at zawa'id that's very prevalent and then the wamma on the ha his other application we differs from house but it's not specific to him is that he has qasr in the munfasil he will have to wasut in the mutasil then looking at the two rawis of yaqub it is ruwais and rawh we can identify the riwayah of ruwais in that he has imala in the word kafirin so he will read it as kafirin whereas ruwais will read kafirin as normal so if you hear that it is yaqub now coming across the word kafirin imana means it's a ruwais fath will mean that it is rawh Another way of differentiating between them is that Ruwais will read the sod in the word Sirat with a scene. So he will read it as Sirat. Rauh will read it as normal with a sod. Remember that this reading with the scene we had before for Kumbu. So it was unique to Kumbu only in the Sabah. Looking at the Ashara, then Ruwais also has that same application. So there are three things to look for over here. We first look in for the Ha Usakt. That will be highlighted in yellow. That is when stopping on the words huwa, iya, the pronoun hunna, and the ya with the kalim that is mushaddad. Then we're going to be the highlight in green, those places where it stops with a ya. So you're looking for a kasra at the end of a word that indicates to a ya that is omitted. And then in blue, the places where it is the ha with a lom instead of a kasra. That is when the ha in hum, huma, and hunna is preceded by a yasakina. So you can pause the video at this point and do the highlighting for yourself and then <clears throat> resume once you are done. I will firstly do all in yellow, the ha usakts. Okay, so I've highlighted it even if it's in the middle of the verse, just to indicate that when you're stopping on that words, then you will have the heart sucked. So yeah, we're not going to stop over here at the first occurrence, but if you were to stop there, then there would be the heart sucked. But yeah, it will be applied here at the end of the verse. Next is in green, those places where you'll stop with a yeah. Then next is in blue, there's places where it is the ha with a lomma. This is where the ha is preceded by a ya sakin. So I'm going to do the recitation of the verses now. So when you have know these applications, then you know that you are listening to the Qira'a of Ya'qub. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa. Qalu da'unana rabbaka yubayyil lana ma hiya. Hunna libasun lakum ma antum libasun lahunna. ما أنا بمصرخكم وما أنتم بمصرخية ولا تشتروا بآياتي ثمنا قليلا وإياي فاتقوني 
قال رجل من الذين يخافون أنعم الله عليهم دخلوا عليهم الباب ولهن مثل الذي عليهن بالمعروف وللرجال عليهن درجة فذكر بالقرآن من يخاف وعيدي لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن قل فيهما إثم كبير ومنافع الناس Okay, now listen to the dissertation of these suwar and try and hear for these three applications by which you can identify the Qira'a of Ya'qub, the Ha'u Sakt, the Ya'atu Zawaid, and the Dhamma on the Ha'a. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.